it's so crazy to me because we wasn't even having that conversation for like the dick pic to arrive. It was just like, bing, and I was just like, oh, uh, okay, that that uh, that's what we do. Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I got a woo woo. Before I get into today's story time, because I know you guys love a good story time, because I love a good story time, honestly, truly. I feel like story times are personal, and you get to know the person behind the camera, aka me, this YouTuber here, a little better. And you get to see that I'm normal just like everybody. So kindly hit the subscribe button below and you watch all my other videos and you like them, you comment and you give them a thumb up. Specifically this one because I feel like every male or female can relate. So I know you guys are just waiting for me to jump into it. So fuck it. Here I go. Always when I'm telling the story time, I will not tell the person's name out of confidentiality and... Yeah, I just don't like to do that. So I would just always refer to the person as Peter. So I was talking to this guy named Peter for a while, or maybe not for a while, just basically for this month per se. So per usual, you know, like the new thing of like um, letting somebody know that you're interested in them for guys these days. I don't know if females do it too, but they slide in your DMs and then you, you eventually talk a little bit, then you exchange numbers. He was a friend of a cousin and I didn't know that until we started talking. So anyway, so Peter slid in my DMs like maybe like a year before this or a year prior, whatever. I looked at it, I seen it, went about my business. But before I went about my business, I went on his page and I scrolled and I was like, oh, he's cute, but nah like you know i just feel like with cute guys come a lot of shit and i just don't really have time for the fans and the bullshit and like the like i don't know i just feel like pretty guys just get a bad rap and i just don't want no parts of that so i just curved his shit and i went about my life so then sometime this year uh, Peter slipped back into my DMs again, but this time, when I actually went back to his page to to see how he looked, I was like, oh shit, he was really cute, but at the first time when he did hit me up, I don't know why I, like, just didn't, like, find no interest or whatever, it probably, I feel like it was around the time where I was just like, niggas ain't shit, I hate them, blah, 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 blah. so I was just like, ah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, but this time, like I said, I'm growing, and I'm learning, and I'm comfortable, and I'm more open to, like, it is what it is, and it is gonna be what it's not, like, it's just a 50-50 gamble, okay, whatever, 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 so this time, like, I actually engaged with him, we had conversation, and, you know, things was cool, and we just took it little and little by hair, so we did exchange numbers, and for some reason, I guess the text messages got dry or like something happened in between that time and like we stopped talking for like a month or so and then he hit me back up and then he was just like, um, oh, um, uh, I really think you're pretty and I find you attractive and this and that a third, but, um, I just don't know if I like, um. Like, I just don't know if I could, like, ruin this friendship with your cousin versus, and, like, it, it was just something of that sort, like, basic. Yeah, so, I guess he was scared for my cousin to find all of that out. Now, at that time, I was like, uh, okay, like, we're both grown. If we both come to the decision that we want to have sex and we don't want to talk afterwards or we have sex and we continue doing what we're doing, that's up to us. Like, my cousin has no parts into my decision making like I am my own woman so like I don't know after we exchanged that like we stopped talking again so he would just see me on Instagram like I would put up like little pictures or like little stories and he would always comment this and that and the third and it would just be like friendly exchanges nothing more nothing less so this year um I don't know, yeah, we just started talking and it just became more and then like we got back to texting and it was really cool. So my birthday came and went 
and he came to my birthday party that I had for like close family and friends and I was shocked because like I never hung out with him prior to that like we never kicked it we just talked and exchanged a few words here and there and it was just like okay so he actually came but he came he came from after work with his um, friend or brother or whatever and we just chilled that whole night like him and my other homegirl we um, we just chilled that whole night outside in front of my building. We talked, we caught up. It was, like, really cool. It felt like a casual friend that I haven't seen for a long time. And, you know, we just kicked it and whatnot. And, like, we just had fun. So then after that, I guess we both felt like the sparks. And we felt like it was mutual. And we kind of wanted to see where it was going. Or so I fucking thought. So every night after work. He would come see me after work. We'd hang out and we'd kick, and kick it. And I really thought like, oh, okay, maybe I could give him, you know, a shot. Or maybe I'll just, you know, just not rush it, go with the flow, see how it is. Because, like, I'm the type of person that, like, okay, I might like you, but it'll take a long time for it to register to my brain that I do like you. So I don't really know if I like you or if I'm just fascinated with you. Or if it's the simple fact of, that's just my vagina, just like, oh, shit, like, it's been a while, maybe we can actually get some, like, see, like, I'll get into that in a minute, but yes, that seems to be happening to me lately, but yeah, so it just takes me a long time to know if I really like you, or if it's a lust, or if I'm just talking through my vagina, like, it just, it just takes a minute, so that's the case that was, bleh, that's what was happening, and I just really didn't know if I was feeling him, if he was hiding something from me, or, like, I just really didn't know, like, what to pinpoint, and, like, I couldn't tell if I liked him, so I needed more time. So, basically, every night after work, he would come see me, we would talk, we would hang out till, like, 4 or 5 in the morning, and, like, the conversation was dope as fuck. So, this is where it started to get tricky and started to, like, I started, like, to question it. When we were not together, and we would text, like, we would text, like, little stuff throughout the days, and little memes, like, just funny shit, like, just, you know, how you text to somebody you're interested in, shit like that. It went left when I got to unsolicited dick pic. I don't know about anybody else or any other girl, but for me, like, that's a hell fucking no, and, like, just why, like, what... Like, it's so crazy to me because we wasn't even having that conversation for, like, the dick pic to arrive. It was just like, bing, and I was just like, oh, uh, okay, that, that, uh, that's what we doing? Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. So it was, like, just one of those. So, I, like, because I'm so baffled and, like, shocked, I'm scrolling, like, where the fuck did I go wrong? Like, how the fuck did a, a dick pic just, like, how did this happen? And I couldn't find shit. So, at first, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. But I saw the dick pic, I was like, damn, jackpot, jackpot. Like, <laughs> let's be honest, and nobody wants a strip. But I was just like, damn. And I was like, nice, like, nice. But then, like, afterwards, like, we would be talking about, like, I could be, like, the sky is fucking blue, and then somehow, like, the sky is blue would just mix into, like, his lust or whatever the fuck it was, but I'm pretty sure it's lust, and I would just get a penis pick. And I'm just like, bro, bro, like, and it's so crazy because before the penis pick, I had, I was chilling with my homegirl over the weekend, and I was just like, yo, like... Well, she always has my back, and she's always concerned about anything I do, and she supports any and everything that I do. So I was talking to her about him, and I was like, yeah, he's cool, but, you know, I'm not really sure, this and that and the third. Like, I don't really know what I want from him, so I don't feel like I should ask him what he want from me. But lo and behold, it's like we spoke that conversation into existence that it had to happen. Like, it just happened on its own. So when I was talking to her, I was like, well, when do you think is the right time to ask somebody, um what do you expect? Like, what Like what are you expecting out of this? Like, what do you want to do with this? Like, I didn't want to ask that question off the simple fact because it was so early. And like I said, we were just, like, literally talking. And it just, like, it hasn't really, like, been a month yet. Like, it's just been a few weeks. And I didn't want to be like, hey, like, where do you see this going? Mm-hmm. Like, because I wasn't sure. So I didn't even want to ask that question. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So I felt like it would be very, very weird. But I got her point, and I understood what she was saying. She was just like, just so you could be clear and on the same page. And as soon as she said that, I literally thought about that, like, for the whole week. And 
I didn't even have to ask him that question. It was like, but because he was sending the dick pics and like, and more dick pics and stuff like that, it was basically like the answer was within the dick pics. Like, hello, you just want to have sex. But because I'm such a straightforward person and I like to just get to the point and I don't like to like bullshit or waste anybody's time because I feel like everybody's time is precious and it shouldn't be wasted, I wanted him to tell me straightforward that's what he wants. Just off the simple fact because, like I said, I don't like my time to be wasted. But the conversations that we would have on the phone and in person were two whole different fucking things. So I couldn't put two and two together. So it was throwing me for a loop. So I was just like, I'm, I'm like a little confused as to how like when we're in person, the conversation is dope as fuck. And we don't talk about none of that. We don't even talk about dick pics. We talk about the randomest, most coolest, deepest thought things, process ever, excuse me. And then it's just like, yeah, like forget the, like forget I even got a dick pic. Like it's just like forget that. Like it's just the conversation is so dope. That's why I was just so, so, so confused. So, yesterday I was going to my sessions, and before I go into my session, I'm like, because we do this little thing where we send each other, like, like words of the day or shit like that or whatever. So, it's like, I'm sending him that, and then somehow that got wrapped up, and then it was just like, hey, come sit on it. And I was just like, you know, you fucking know what, like, I am sick of this shit. I quit. I don't want to do it. I want to block you. I want to delete you. I want to curse you out, and I want to do all of that. But because, but because I'm growing, like I'm saying, and growing and growing and growing, and I'm growing into this wonderful woman that's about to be her best self and live her best life real soon, I just really wanted to know what possessed him to say that so i'm like yo like peter are you fucking stupid like what's up with you i was like yo like just what do you want like mario i didn't want to have this conversation through text like i didn't want to have this conversation nowhere through text or nothing i really wanted to have this conversation in person so my plan was to hit him up that day and be like yo come see me when you get off after work if you're not busy or whatever just come see me or whatever again but because I got so pissed off and so worked up, it never made it. So I had to have it through touch. So he was just basically like, oh, I just want to have fun. And that pissed me off even more. Because I'm like, okay, fun. Like, bro, like, how old are you? Like, we're too old for this shit. Like, elaborate. Even though I know what I meant, I just wanted to hear those words once again. I'm like, fun? Like, the fuck? Like, what? what is fun? Like, we can have fun. We can go to the fucking carnival. Like, the circus. Like, elaborate. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, nah, I just want to have fun, this and that, and the third. And then he started to get, like, real kind of, like, nasty-ish, but not, like, nasty-ish. Like, I don't know if it was nasty mixed with humor or he was trying to piss me off, but I really feel like he was trying to piss me off. So I was like, yo, if you just want to have sex, say you want to have sex with both adults, we could consent to it, and then we could just move on, and that's the that third. He's like, nah, I don't want to have sex. Um, I already have somebody else for that. And I'm just like... And I, ooh. So what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, if you, like, huh? Like, how does that, how does that make sense? Like, what? So that's why I feel like he's fucking around and he's playing with me. Like, he's purposely taunting me. So I was just like, all right, don't give him no ammo. Don't give him no ammo. Just chill, chill, chill. So I'm like, Okay. So I was like, you know what, Peter? I was just like, before any more of my words get misconstrued or I take anything personal through text, I'm just like, yo, like, let's try our best to meet up tonight and this and that and the third. And he was like, okay, cool, whatever. So the whole day goes by, talking to my homegirl, talking to my cousin, and I'm telling them the situation, and they just like, bitch, niggas like shit. And I'm just like, girl. I was just like, when does this, when does this end? Like, you know, like, when does, like, when do, like, men ever realize, like, they be having a dope bomb-ass female in front of them, and it's just like, but yeah, anyway, so the whole day goes by, whatever, and I hit him up, I'm like, yo, are you ready for our session? Because I call our late night sessions, like, 
ses- like therapy sessions because we just be talking about any and everything and it'd be so flow it be I mean so flow it'd be naturally flowing and it's just mad cool and the vibes is just really good and I'm just the person that goes up for energy and vibes so like that's how I was really confused because his vibe is not fuckboyish but when we're not together it is fuckboyish so I was just conflicted so long story short he did not come he talked about he had to he went somewhere he was tired this and that and there so no answer was the answer what i mean was that like i literally once i calmed down and i reread what everything that had transpired between us i realized i got the answer i was looking for i just somehow didn't want to accept that answer like because i felt like the um nights that we spent together was just like very like I just felt like the nights we spent together and him being on his own and we were not in person was just like two different things and I was just very conflicted and I was just like damn like I almost thought I had one almost but just as I thought trash and I had to move forward so yeah so it just goes to show you that sometimes you really don't need to answer your dms <laughs> your dms is mostly full of shit and um it's just so crazy to me how the whole thing worked because he really pursued me for a long time and it's just like i didn't get that vibe that like that's what he wanted mind you i'm not here to say that if you want to have sex with somebody off the rip and you just want it to be a sexual thing that's bad we're grown and you can do whatever you want some people are not looking forward to looking for it for a relationship and some people are and that's just their preference i'm not saying that i was like 100 percent looking for a relationship i'm never looking for a relationship like i completely enjoy being alone like because i don't have to deal with these problems but it's also like i just don't want to keep having situationships without it really being a situation like i don't want to put myself in that predicament if i don't have to put myself in that predicament so it's not like i didn't find him sexually attractive or anything to the bitch. Yes, I did. And literally, so the thing, like I said earlier, talking through my vagina. <laughs> what I mean is that, like, sometimes when I find somebody, a guy, really attractive or whatever, I start talking through my vagina because it's like, I don't get laid as often as I was like, <laughs> as I would like, like, I have droughts for years, for months, and all my friends think it's so funny and they want to buy me birthday cakes and celebrate how long has it been. So, like, when I see a guy and I kind of, just like a little piece of me think it's like potential, me and my vagina gets happy and we be like, yes, yes, sex, sex, woo, 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 woo. And it's just like, ah, uh, slow down, girl. Like, let's actually get to know the person before we jump the gun and, you know? So yeah, so that's what I mean when I say talking to my vagina. But I felt like I did do that the first two days, and maybe that could have sent off the wrong signals too. But I also feel like it was common. So like I wasn't the one like shooting it out there. Like like I said, when we had conversations that night, like sex was the least one of it. Like we would just talk about any and everything. But I don't know. I just felt like I dodged the bullet because I felt like he would have wasted my time if he got the chance because he didn't want to answer my question when I asked him the first time. He did. He bopped all around the question. And secondly, he was like, huh, I just want to have fun without like trying to just say, I just want this to be a sexual or casual thing. And then he wants to lie and say he's already having sex with somebody else, which it might not be a lie. He might really be having sex with somebody else, which is okay. Like, I don't care, but you're not going to dip and dab in my barbecue sauce. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, stay over there with your sour cream and mustard. Like, I don't know. Just stay over there. Like, that's not going to happen. I don't do dip and dab. Like, that's disgusting. It's thing that's STDs and this and that and third so that was my only issue with him now as far as going forward do i really know what to do no because he's a cool dude and i hope he doesn't watch this i'm not gonna be pissed then i'm gonna have to explain this but he's a cool dude and i just i don't know like i really i was kind of hurt but my friend, she sent me, like, this really nice message this morning, and I felt better. And I listened to Lizzo, True Hurts, and I was like, you gotta have a bad bitch, lock in the middle. But um, I'm good, I'm cool, I'm not tripping off of it. But it was just 
was just fucked up, yo. Like, it could have been a situation. So I'm really happy that I caught that. And my friends and my cousins helped me caught that. Because, like, bitch, I would have been singing Tony Braxton, another love song, or Seven Hotels. But, yeah, like, it just, it could have went bad. But, like, it's just crazy. Because it's, like, even though after, like, um, I was like, yo, I knew he wasn't going to come and shit like that. He, he still tried to make, like, the conversation sexual. So, like, I was just annoyed and, like, I was ready to block him. But, like, I still don't, I don't know what to do going forward with him because I don't hate him. I just think he's corny now and thirsty. And, yeah, like, I just, I don't know. It didn't really put a damp on dating like this is the fuck what you gotta expect from dating it's just more so disappointing because it's like at what age we're all getting so old not old old but like we're getting older and some of us are maturing and some of us are not and it's just like when when is the opposite sex going to mature like and it's just so crazy how some men feel like the only way to get to know them is by laying down with them first and then getting to know them afterwards like um what like it doesn't work that way like women have so much more to bring to the table than just sex like we're more than just sex we're not objects and I feel like that's how some men in this generation feel but then you also have to remember that it is some girls out there that make it hard for women like such as myself to get to know a man and like really want to know what he's about and like see if his mental well-being is worth even like having communications with or conversations with because they be so quick and hot in the fans and they just have sex with them and then they try to do all the other shit afterwards and i'm not saying there's any rule to like how to like meet a person and like get to know them because you can fucking um have sex with a person tomorrow he could be the love of your life or you can have sex with the person tomorrow and he'll end up hating you and you end up hating him and you block him and this and that and the third so it's no rule to it i just find it a little frustrating when guys think that women all women should have sex with them and then try to get to know them before that and i feel like that's the direction he was kind of going in because like with the conversation that we were having it was just brought to my attention that like he never really had to do no hard work and that's the vibes that I was getting like it was just very weird like you know like I don't know men that feel like they don't have to do no work that should have been a red flag right there but I was just so intrigued because I'm a psychology major so I'm always trying to figure out like why does the person feel that way or why do they think that way or like why like where's your logic where's your common sense and it's just like bitch that is his common sense so it's just like that was intriguing to me so I was just more more or less like Hmm. Okay, I see. But sometimes you gotta put like your logic and try to like play cap the same hole to the side and just really take things for what they are because he basically told me that he doesn't do no work and I'm the type of female you wanna do some work like because I know my work. Not saying like the other females that he was dealing with did, but like. I know what the fuck I bring to the table, bitch. I am the table and the chairs and the centerpiece. So you're going to work for this. Like, if this is not free. Like, nothing in this world is for free. So you're going to do right by me, and I'm going to do right by you. Like, I just feel like if he wasn't so thirsty for sex and he wasn't just throwing it in my face, this could have went different. But then at the end of the day, it probably still would have had the same results because maybe that's all he just wanted. Obviously, that's all he just wanted. Nothing more, nothing less. But then I also felt like you could have been the man and you could have just told me from jump instead of like having those late night sessions with me, like trying to get to know me, sliding in my DMs for this long, talking about oh, I did this, I did that. Like, no, let, like, let's just get to the point. Like, you could have let me decide, but instead you was letting you and your penis decide for me what I should do to get to know you. Like, it doesn't work like that. So that's the only thing that threw me off about him, and I was very disappointed. So that's just another one of my dating 101s, do's and don't. So if you have any advice or any story like this, let me know in the comments below. Or, like, if you're just sick and tired of the shit, male or female, definitely let me know and, like, Give me some advice. Let's help each other out. Let's make this dating thing not so tragic and not so, like, mundane. Like, let's 
let's help each other out. Let's just give each other some pointers. Let's get married. Shit, like, let's bring back real relationships back. Like, you know, fuck. Like, being single is fun as fuck and it's cool as lit, but it's also boring. And, yeah, nobody wants situationships anymore. Those shits are the worst. Like, stay away from situationships. Like, I advise, if you can, run. Guys, for watching this and letting me rant, really. But I had to get this shit out. So now that it's out, hopefully this will reach somebody and they be like, sis, I know how you feel. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.